You are watching Sammy the Interviewing Toucan, brought to you by the Indiana Young Reader Center. Da, 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 da. Hey everybody, it's Sammy here, and I'm here with Peggy, and is it Rife Miller? Did I it get that is. Right? That's okay, wonderful. wonderful. Peggy Rife Miller, how are you today? Yeah, I'm fantastic. How are you, Sammy? I'm doing all right. I'm very excited to be talking to you. I love talking to authors. It's my favorite part of my whole life. <laughs> so um, my first question is, can you tell me about yourself and a little bit about your connection to Indiana? Mm -hmm. um, I actually graduated from Manchester College, which is now Manchester University in northern Indiana, where I attended four years. That was my introduction to Indiana. And then um, my husband and I moved to Indiana in 2002, where we lived for 15 years. And um, I currently live in Ohio, just across the border. But um, it, it was while we were living in Indiana that I wrote the book that's oh, next to you there. That's so great. Um, yes, my, I've got your book right here. It's called The Seagoing Cowboy. Can mm -hmm. you tell me a little bit about it and maybe a little bit more about your writing? Sure. Um, my writing has focused pretty much since 2002 on the history related to seagoing cowboys who took uh, animals to Europe after World War II, farm animals, to help the people rebuild after the war. And it's related to an organization called Heifer International, which some people may be familiar with, where you can give an animal in somebody's name and it's given to uh, people who are in poverty and it helps helps them be able to help themselves. So oh, this I, is, I just love that idea. It's just a yeah. great idea. And I love, of course, books about animals. I'm a little biased. But. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's been the focus of my uh, writing. I started out wanting to write a novel for young adults about a seagoing cowboy, but it kind of morphed into the picture book instead. And along the way, I realized that this was just a hidden history. Uh, that most people didn't know about. So my mission became more that of documenting the history and then um, writing and speaking about it. So that's that's been pretty much the focus of my writing. Well, it's just a fascinating story, you know, um, just the whole idea of, of shipping livestock across the world and in different areas to help people out. I just think it's a, it's such a fascinating story. Um, there's one really interesting thing in the book where um, one of the, one of the young, young men in the book uh, finds a, an animal from his past, which is just really, really cool that it really yeah. actually happened in real life. Yeah, everything in the book actually happened to one seagoing cowboy or another. So it's it's kind of a composite. Um, it's historical fiction, but it, it's really a, a true history. So yeah. oh, it's just it's a really lovely book. I love picture books so much. I say that in almost all my interviews, you mm. know, because I, I really do think they're they're really um, they're really versatile. You know, like you can use mm. them for all sorts of different types of yeah, books. for sure for sure and I, i'd like to give credit to the illustrator too claire ewart who lives in fort wayne indiana she just did a fantastic job of, of uh, illustrating the book so. it really it really is a lovely book can you tell us a little bit more about your author journey and where you're at now and where you hope to be someday yeah well i got interested in writing um picture books in particular after reading to my twin daughters when they were little um, and then it just, I, I went different ways for um, a couple of decades, actually. And then in 2002, when we moved to Indiana, I had the opportunity to focus full time on my writing. So that's when I really started um, getting into it more. And the, the Seagoing Cowboy um, history has been the focus, but I've, I've worked on other things too. And currently, uh, my work in progress is for adults, and it's a uh, history of the first decade of the Heifer Project, which is today's oh, Heifer International. Um, it's a huge project. It's taken me a long time to get to it because I've done a lot of research, and organizing research is 
takes a lot of time. So, but I'm, I'm started well on that now. And when I get that finished, there's a lot of other topics that I'd like to write about for children. Oh, that's so fascinating. Sorry. <laughs> um, have you noticed or how are you doing with the current health crisis? Is it helping you have more time to write or not as much time or, you know, how yeah. are you doing? Um, I've, I've been doing fine. Um, for me, it actually has given me more time, more uninterrupted time mm -hmm. where I can just focus on my writing, which has, has been a big help to me in terms of writing this history. Uh, because I set a goal in January to spend at least one to two hours a day working on this book. And I've been able to spend three to four hours a day. And then I deal with my other, other um, email and yeah. requests that I get from people for information and, and that kind of thing. Um, and I, you know, even though it's, it's been okay for me, my heart really goes out to those who, who have been suffering and those struggling because of the pandemic. Um, it just, it, it's really difficult for people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's such a, it's just a crazy time that we're all living in. And it it's, it's really kind of unbelievable that we're living during a pandemic, but here we are. Yeah. You know, and I appreciate your thoughts and I'm sure our viewers do too. So I've asked all of my authors to bring a little show and tell. Did you bring mm -hmm. something today to show us? I did. This is what keeps me happy. Oh, during this flowers. Pandemic time. Are you flowers. doing some gardening? Um, we have some flowers around our house that I, I clip and bring in, but these were a gift for my daughter for Mother's Day, and they're still still looking um, pretty fresh. Uh, she she grows flowers as a business. Oh, that's and, so great! Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's that's what has kept me um, lifts my spirits. We have an orchid that's in full bloom, and you know, there's flowers around the house. So well, and I just think watching growing things is it's kind of. Um, Oh, it can, it, it, it gives you peace and it gives you hope, I think. Yeah. Well, Peggy, it's been just delightful talking to you. Thank you, you very, too, very Sammy. much. You Hopefully we'll get to an honor. person someday. Yes, that'd be lovely. Okay, well, you take care. You too.